another hunting season, hunting season, another early morning. Here we are guys, it is 4.30 in the morning and we are about to be driving an hour and a half away to go hunt on Camp Pendleton. I am so excited as much as it may not look like it because we are exploring a completely new area, a mountainous area in an area that looks very bucky. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a great day and a great video. See you after the coffee. Finally got to spot and uh, crazy, crazy mountains, big hills, lots to glass. Insane, insane, I'm on camp out. So as I'm glassing, I see a guy crawling up a fire break, you know, walking slowly, not crawling, but he was like in a low prone slowly moving stalking positions. I'm like, oh, this dude's looking at something. So I'm looking around and then I see the deer come out and I'm trying to verify what it is, but it's it's, it's two deer. I don't know if it's a buck or a doe, but it's, uh, it's always fun to watch this play out to see, you know, potential another hunter get a kill. It's kind of cool. So I'm gonna go grab my spotting scope real quick and see if we can uh, figure out what this is. So, nothing really right home about. Looked, um, I couldn't identify the antlers easily, which means it wasn't that big, from my experience. But uh, yeah, man, these valleys, dude, just a little, a little amateur tip right here. Definitely not a pro tip, but an amateur tip. It's uh, thermals. Thermals are everything. Like especially in like in a hilly mountainous region, like I am in right now, your scent is dropping down. It's getting pulled into the bottom of the valley. So if you're making your approach from above, you gotta play that wind better than everything. Or, as the pros say, just uh, just wait for the thermals to shift, wait for the sun to come out, and wait for those winds to come to start pushing up, so your scent won't blow down into the deer. But enough tips. Uh, can't give any tips when I don't see anything. So let's uh, let's keep looking. Well, after a little bit of bushwhacking, I ended up here with this view, which looks very promising. So just had a little forky pop up on this uh, little f two fingers over. Oh, his mouth was out, so that, <laughs> that's not gonna be the thumbnail. Um, Look like he was chasing something though, slowly, like following. But nothing, nothing really yet, man. But this, this is just awesome. Like it's, it's great terrain. I know there's deer in here, there has to be. I mean, I just saw one, but it's just like, I don't know, excited. Definitely excited, but let's keep looking. Hopefully we, um, I'll see if I get this little fork on camera. If it pops back out, just jumped in the bushes, but it's, I feel like I'm not on pace. This is, this is awesome. Even though I haven't seen anything so awesome. Well, as I very quietly make my way out of this glassing spot, a lot of questions I get, you know, questions I had myself was when do you know an area is good and when do you, Stop glassing an area. And that's all by you. It's determined by you. When you think you've done a, a good enough job, uh, that determines when it's over. For example, like I've scanned these ridges about five, six times. Didn't see anything. We have overcast, as you see. And uh, this is my first time here. There's plenty to look at. So I did see that that uh, little buck chasing, I assume, a doe. But he was on my side of the ridge, so I couldn't get an angle to see him again. But this back side where I'm at completely drops off, so I'm going to go look at that. Good time of day. Still moving, so let's get some exploring in and uh, cover as much land as possible. See if we can turn something up. So I dropped down an elevation, and I literally just saw a deer go right underneath this power line and drop off. But I just got here, so it's like, do I go drive that way? Because I can't walk. It's too thick but do I go drive that way and see if I could catch them or do I sit here and start glassing now that I have like a better angle and I'm lower to the ground decisions two does gonna turn around and uh see if I get my camera just so you know I'm not lying because I've been saying I've been seeing a bunch of stuff and I haven't put anything on camera so we're gonna go put them on camera and then we're gonna try to sneak up on them just a little bit of fun 
real. Real. So the one on the right's a little spike, so oh, they're bouncing, and he's actually going up. We're having some fun. I'm gonna try to drive around because they're right underneath this uh, power pole. And we're gonna see if we get, uh, get a little close. So he's definitely, <clears throat> so he's farther right now. I mean, let's see. Two hundred yards. Staying with this girl, man. Young. Shows they're still moving though, especially in the rut. It's uh, ten forty. So I was following these dudes, and uh, they didn't go crap. The buck didn't go crap. He was just with the girl. As you see, that she's pretty attentive because I'm talking kind of loud. But before, when yeah, like they threw the bush shot, they were staring at me pretty close because I was pretty close. I think it was like 20 yards. Obviously, no shot, but yeah. Man, what a high quality resolution video right now. Overcast, perfect. Not a lot of wind. It's lovely. Thought there'd be another one since they're uh, since she's in heat. I'm pretty confident there was a spike earlier. Maybe this guy ran him off. I mean, not much bigger, but. All right, well, he bedded, and uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. He hasn't moved. See his antlers and everything, only there were two or three more antlers. <laughs> like a good three by three. Uh, yeah, pretty cool though, good way end of the day. It's noon, I have a birthday party to go to. I think I said that earlier, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Look, this area is gorgeous. Luckily, I'm on a road. Um, I, th I think I said in the last, one of the last clips, he did get within 55 yards, some bushes got on the way. I pulled back, thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, um, and didn't. But, you know, it's, you know, it's one of those things, like, I'm no big game hunter, well, obviously I'm a big game hunter, but I'm not, you know, like, big time hunter, like, meets meat, you can't eat antlers, all that stuff. I haven't killed a deer in two years, FYI. So, you know, all these things run through your head, but hey, got a good, got a great video on a, a deer in rut, more or less, uh, doing heat, got super close. The opportunity presented itself as a joke, which is even funnier because I could have sworn I was looking at a spike, but sure enough, it was just a forky, or there is a, still is a spike, I don't know, but yeah, good, good stuff, man. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you do, you know, click like, click subscribe. Um, I really do appreciate it. This is the retirement plan. As you know, I'm in the military, I'm in the Navy, so, but yeah, man, let's, uh, let's wrap up this video. And, uh, Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.